Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I wanna have some fun and do some real-time research and design to make some Easter shirts. And I wanna touch on Easter, the, um, I don't know what to call it, like the Easter bunny side, you know, where it's about chocolate and Easter eggs and fun. And I want to do some religious Easter. Don't forget about the religious side of it as well, uh, Easter t-shirts. So I'm going to kind of, I almost think of it as two niches within the same big major trend. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I would go about doing it on my own time in this video. But first, I'm going to kind of walk you through like what I'm going to utilize, you know, what tools and whatnot. And then I'm going to show you in real time, like how I would go about having a little design session. So if you're with me, let's get started. Quick reminder, in the description, I've got a link to a free print-on-demand giveaway that you can enter. It takes like 10 seconds. The winners are going to be announced on Sunday. I've got a link to my 7-day Merch by Amazon mini course. All I need is your email. I'll send you one lesson a day. And I've got a link to my Merch by Amazon Facebook group. So if you guys would like to join, I'd love to have you. All right. So we are talking Easter today. And first, I just want to walk you through a couple ways you can go about researching good ideas. Now, I hate saying good and trying to be the arbiter of truth when something is subjective. But when I say good... What I mean is shirts that we have a little bit of data on to know that they're selling. We don't have to guess, right? And we can't be everywhere in the world monitoring who owns what Easter shirt. Fortunately, on the internet, on places like Amazon, they give us data points that let us essentially know and, and guesstimate within reason uh, how often a shirt is selling. So we can utilize this data to make informed decisions. And I love doing that. So you can use for free something like my search merch tool where you can enter a seed keyword or phrase and then you click the product type. I prioritize standard t-shirts because they are the best selling product. And um, you know, so in this case I would type Easter. It'll take me to Amazon and it'll filter out non Amazon merch products, which is really useful, especially when like for me personally, I'm prioritizing Amazon merch when I do research. You can also, if you use a paid research tool, like right now my go-to is Pretty Merch Pro Plus and I'll drop a link to them in the description if anybody wants to check them out. Uh, but you know, they have a research tool built in. It is better than the uh, aforementioned search merch tool because this one does things like, well, it's just, it's just much faster. It filters out the protected brands. It has more data points like right there. It's also one click away uh, for the merch sellers that keep a tab open on your browser at all times. They have a built-in trademark search right next to the trend finder. A um, lot of reasons to check that one out. Also, their search functionality is really nice for um, niching down as well. So I'll probably use this in my demo because I want to show you exactly how I would actually go about doing it myself. All right, and of course you can um, make it your own. Just to just to remind you guys, like you don't only have to do like make shirts that already exist. You can, if you have great ideas, get creative with it and come up with something on your own. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, when you go this route, though, you're going to probably need to signal to the algorithms, like Amazon algorithm, Etsy algorithm, wherever you sell, some primary keywords like Easter shirt 2022 funny Easter shirt, Easter shirt for sister, whatever it is, but you're going to need to signal some common phrases that it can associate with your new shirt. Because if you then include the, you know, new slogan that hasn't been sold before in your title, well, if it's brand new, chances are people aren't searching for it. I mean, it's possible they are, but hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. You want to help the algorithm associate your shirt with broader concepts since you're doing something that's brand new. Also, if you're making something new and you don't list it on a major e-commerce marketplace, I don't know how you're driving traffic to it. You're gonna have to spend a lot of money on paid ads or, you know, getting organic traffic from Google is extremely hard and it takes definitely like over a year to do. So just putting that in perspective, not against Shopify and those websites, but just be realistic. All right, design aspect. Um, you know, with design guys, it's really up to you, whatever works for you. I gotta shout out my uh, my friend Juna at Detour Shirts. He had a couple videos and he might even have more on his channel for doing Easter themed designs. So I'll drop a link to uh, Juna's channel, Detour Shirts, in the description. You can check him out. Again, he's a professional, by the way. So if you want great tutorials, check his channel out. You're not gonna find like really anybody better for the print on demand business side of things if you wanna do your own designs. Now, I did a video um, recently where I talked about how you can use Creative Fabrica and basically for, you know, an introductory price of a dollar, you can get access to a massive library of various, you know, creatives and whatnot. And in addition to Creative Fabrica, like personally, I have a couple go-tos and All Sunsets is a big part of my um, go-to toolkit as far as pre-made designs go. Okay, now on Creative Fabrica, you can actually get like designs that are, you can just kind of run with them. You just kind of like take them and use them as is. Um, all sunsets, you're meant to 
alter them in some way, which I really like because then it reduces the likelihood of you and a bunch of other people having the exact same design. I mean, it's still possible you could, but it's like very unlikely because you got to kind of typically for me, it's just adding text. All right. So that is my plan. Again, this is going to be organic exactly as I would do it. And I don't want it to go on too long. So I'm thinking maybe five, six minutes, which probably means it'll be seven or eight minutes, but we'll see. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys on all sunsets. I'll put a link in the description. It's a special link that will discount the uh, membership. And essentially you can get a one year membership for $31. So it's like $2 and change, which is less than one sale of profit uh, and you get access for a full year. So you can't really beat that guys. Uh, check them out. So what I did to prep for this video is I came, I actually did a keyword search. So I just typed in Easter in the top right corner and hit enter. And then you can scroll through a bunch of their Easter designs. And uh, I think they have some additional ones that are indexed more on like religious keywords as well. So if you want the other side of Easter, the religious side, um, definitely check that out. And then essentially you just add them to your basket and download them. So I've got a bunch of them in a um, folder right here, ready to go. And I'm going to show you my process basically. So um, first things first, like, and it kind of, you can, you can do it one of two ways, right? I've got my folder of designs and I can go and choose a seed keyword based on a design, or I can do it, you know, in reverse, right? So if I really like this um, Jesus graphic and I say, I want to make a design related to this, you know, Jesus Easter. Maybe I type in, you know, Jesus Easter and then I hit enter. By the way, I'm using Pretty Merch Pro Plus, so it makes it really easy to do. And it's extremely fast. When I search, I actually like to use the, uh, or if you see I'm pointing above my head here, the grid functionality. And then I get a bunch of designs um, kind of in one row. So it, it puts it, I just, I don't know. It makes it feel more efficient when I look at it this way. Uh, Silly Rabbit Easter is for Jesus. So what I might do actually too, is go to the trademark search and type in like silly rabbit and then, okay. So even though it's exact match, it's still new to um, match this because I had a partial phrase. Uh, so if it was trademark silly rabbit, G Easter is for Jesus. Um, it would have caught it for us. So it looks like we should be safe by the way. It's looking at the, uh, the class of the trademark. So, and it's, it's only looking at the types of uh, trademark classifications that would be relevant to us as Amazon merch sellers. So like t-shirts, cell phone cases, pop sockets, in this case, tote bags, which kind of random, but anyways, so we're good to go. And you see why pretty much pro plus is so nice. Cause everything is just like a couple clicks away, one click away, really. So silly rabbit Easter is for Jesus. All right. Well now I'm in Photoshop. All right. And, uh, I actually just keep a template so that it makes my life really easy. And I'm, I'm trying to show you the authentic way that I do this, right? I've already got curved text built into the template. So I could say like silly rabbit. All right. And if you guys want a tutorial on how to do the curved text, I'll also drop a link to that in the description because I have a previous video on that. All right. Then I'll probably just turn off this other um, layer. All right. And I will just move a graphic, drag, drop, boom. Very simple. Downsize a little bit. So silly rabbit. And then we just need to um, come up with a text layer. I've already got one kind of sitting there waiting and I will move it down. And I will change the font to Edmund Texture to match the top one. By the way, you can get the Edmund Texture on Creative Fabrica. Shout out to them. I'll also I'll drop a link to everything I referenced in the description in case you guys, if, if I'm moving too quickly. Uh, Easter is for Jesus. All right. And I will make this font a lot smaller. I might match it to the size of this. So 320. Let's see what we can do with 320. Keep it consistent. All right, reduce the vertical spacing there. Hopefully I'm not doing a bad job of uh, doing a design tutorial. Cause I also, like if I'm doing this in real time, like I'm, I'm moving quickly, you know, if I'm doing this on my time, um, I do try to move fast. Cause you know, time is money. Everybody knows that, but all right. Making some additional room for the text at the bottom there. Could probably increase this. So it's not completely stacked on top of itself. Okay, so silly rabbit. Easter is for Jesus. Uh, that design I think looks pretty good and it only took like a minute to get together. You could even do something like maybe two versions, but so then I'll probably turn off the layers here and, you know, save this design. Um, just call it uh, silly rabbit. Easter is for Jesus. I always like to save the primary keywords as my file name. And then what I was saying was like, you can, um, well, you could do a couple things. You could make like two versions and make a, make like a, a, a optimized for black version and an optimized for uh, white version, something like this, you know, really whatever you think looks best.
but you see all I did there was apply a color overlay and I can do the same to the top and uh, typically I'll try to match the colors to whatever is closest to in the uh, the little circle there um, so yeah so you see that we got two quick designs made right and you can utilize both uh, especially when it's like a tr big trend like Easter you know don't be afraid to make two versions of the same design and then of course you can also swap out the graphic in the middle and um, you could make like a, a play on words for this design here you know like silly bear right like it's a it's a bear in a bunny in a bunny costume right so silly bear Easter is for Jesus boom you got another design there um, people love the T-Rex bunnies right like let's let's go up here and see like T-Rex Easter So happy Eastrar. Um, maybe we could do something like that. Uh, if we swap out the graphic here, swap the bear out for one of the T-Rex graphics. Um, you know, it's kind of subjective which one you like most. I think this one looks like a really quality graphic. So we could do something like this. Happy. Or you could say, you can even make it up yourself. Like T-Rex says, or T-Rex bunny. I don't know. I'm trying to think in real time. I'm probably doing a crappy job. T-Rex Bunny says, Happy East Rar. Something like that. Um, I'll make myself a little bit smaller here in the corner so you can see the full canvas. T-Rex Bunny says, Happy East Rar. Right? And then again, I like to optimize typically for black, so I'd probably um, keep the background set to black and maybe reduce this font size a little bit to... No, I didn't mean to make it that small. 280. Something like this, maybe. Right? Um, ultimately, like, you can spend as long as you want. The little details, like I said, you've got to make your designs good enough. So uh, I would try to be consistent with the font size. Typically, I just don't want to spend too long on this one little aspect of it because I want to get a couple designs done in a short span of time. Um, T-Rex Bunny? Is that what we just searched for? Yeah, it was. Whoops. T-Rex Easter. Okay, so they don't have that many indexed right now. Um, maybe Easter's still a little far away, so they're not ranking extremely well. But, you know, if we get our shirts posted within a month, we're giving ourselves a good chance to build some momentum. Ads will certainly help. And then hopefully we can have a really nice organic rank when the time comes. Um, let's do, like, Easter Jesus, though. Because I said we wanted to hit some of those. Uh, so we have the Silly Rabbit Easter is for Jesus. Um, okay, you got some crosses and it says True Story. That's kind of an easy one. So maybe we don't need the curved text this time. Sometimes I like the big, bold text like that. Um, and then turn off this text layer as well. They got some really sick graphics here, though. So, I mean, just using that graphic straight up wouldn't be... I mean, you're not supposed to do that, though, but um, that's a really nice graphic just to sell as straight up on a T-shirt. Like, So guess who's back. And then probably make that much, much smaller so that it's on one line. Something like that. Guess who's back. All right. And all I did here was try to make, you know, by the way, you notice a theme, like I'm making this stuff big. I want it to stand out in search results. I, f I want the customers to feel subliminally like they're getting like a value out of buying my design versus my competitors. Because when they buy mine, you know, it's, it's going to be big. It's going to be bold. It's going to pop. Right? They don't have to stop and squint and try to figure out what I wrote. You know what I mean? Like I want the text to be um, easy to read, right? And uh, depending on really like the layout of the of the design that we're working with, like this is another design. Boom! You just save it, right? You could you could mess with the colors of uh, of the text if you wanted to, if you think that'll look good. Um, completely up to you. Guess who's back? Maybe something like this. Because I know Easter, like the pastel colors, is a big theme. So you could mess around with stuff like that. Change the font family if you want to. I mean, I just used impact because it's quick and it's easy. Um, we could do another Jesus themed. Where's the curve text right there? So we've got another all sunsets here and really nice color scheme here. So let's see if there's any other. It's not about the bunny. It's about the lamb. Okay, let's see if we can make a shirt that says that. Says that. It's not about the bunny. Probably need to make this decent bit smaller. It's not about the bunny. It's about the. It's about the lamb. 
And we have a little bit of extra room to work with here. So I'd probably make like the word lamb. I mean, I could even split that out to its own piece of text and just make it big. Lamb. Just kind of manually resize it to what I think will fit. Because it's kind of like the lamb of God, I assume. Right? So that looks pretty good. And, uh, you know, again, with the color scheme, maybe match it to, as you see fit, but I like to typically, like, match it to kind of the color of the sunset graphic that it's near. Oh, whoops, I have a color overlay. So I'm going to clear that layer style. It's about the lamb, you know, and maybe I'll switch that color up a little bit too. Of course, at the top, we'll switch that to maybe a yellow. Oh, whoops, got to clear the color overlay. Boom. So I think that design looks pretty darn good too. And look how long it took us to make it, guys. Like, these are just like simple, simple, simple formulas. Um, I don't want this video to go on forever, so maybe I'll just call it here. Uh, but like, you see what I'm doing, right? Like, I, I have a research tool here. Uh, it expedites the research process by just, you know, paying a little bit of money for the upgraded one, but you don't even need it. You still have the search merch tool. I'll link to everything in the description, but I do recommend checking it out if you haven't because you also have the trademark search right here as well. And I didn't trademark search everything. If I was really doing this, I would look up the trademarks before I start designing. But again, I didn't want this video to be boring. So I'm trying to like keep it paced, keep the pace up. Um, but yeah, we just made a couple really good designs. It didn't take us long. They were informed decisions because we looked at the best seller rank. I guess I didn't call out the best seller ranks as I was going, but the way that pretty much pro is going to rank them for us is basically best seller to, um, you know, lesser best sellers. So again, we're just prioritizing based on, we're not, we're not guessing, right? We're, we're letting the data, um, help us make those informed decisions. I prefer to work in Photoshop. It may not be the most optimal, but it's, you know, what I prefer. So guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let the YouTube algorithm know by dropping a like on it and please consider subscribing if you're not already. Quick reminder, I do have a full Merch by Amazon course. It covers everything that we covered in this video, but in much more depth, research, design, um, a lot of content specific to Merch by Amazon, as you'd expect, including an advertising module. And of course, you've got beginner content. And then at the end, you've got fully automated Amazon Merch business content. So it covers the full spectrum. You can check that out. Link is in the description. But guys, thank you for watching. Please have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow with a new video.